Good morning. I am jumping on to do a quick vlog. I um I don't have a lot of updates for you. I haven't weighed. Um, I have eaten some P4. I've reintroduced some um, sugar and starches back into my diet, and you would think that I would have weighed, but I haven't. Um, one of the reasons that I haven't is because we had spiral ham at Easter. And um, every time I've eaten it, I've woken up with hands the size of sausages from water retention. I've eaten it a few times because um, I've, you know, had it as leftovers and we had way too many leftovers. So, um, so anyway, that's that. And I just know that if I get on the scale, there's going to be water retention. It's going to be up and up higher than it probably really is. And I just don't want to be upset by the number. So I'm eating to hunger and um, maybe a little bit more. I actually did really good on Easter. I didn't eat one bite of candy. And then the next day I basically binged on candy. And I'm realizing that sometimes we use the word splurge, but what it really means is binge. So um, I splurged on candy, AKA I binged on candy, which is very unlike me because I don't even really I'm not even a big candy eater, but I'm sure that um, there's some stuff going on there just with having family here and some issues that I had um, with, uh, I feel like I had been taken advantage of uh, with from my sister. Um, I have very clear boundaries with her. We have a history. And um, while my parents have been here, she basically uh, left her child at my house for four days straight three nights and four days and um, and not that I don't love my nephew and don't want to spend time with him but I feel like that that was uh, inappropriate and overstepping boundaries and taking advantage of a situation which was that my parents were here and even they could have used a break I think um, so you know I don't know I don't want to go all into it but um, I was a little livid with her and, um, and so maybe that came out emotionally with the food so I'm on my way to work my parents are leaving to go home tomorrow morning um, so I am going to just work half a day and then go spend the afternoon with them um, my mom is sick I think she had a fever last night she's over they're staying over at my sister's now so they were at my house the first half of the week and they're there the second half of the week over at her house so um, my mom had a fever last night, so I'm hoping she feels better today. If not, I have some um, of my naturopathy home remedies that I'm bringing over there. I have some cat's claw and some colloidal silver. That way, if she has any type of infection, it'll get to that. Um, and I think that's about it. I, um, again, don't have a whole lot going on, but I did want to check in and say hello and tell you um, all that. I hope you had a great Easter and um, Parker, I'm really sorry about the loss of your boyfriend's uh, father. That's so awful and you know there's an old quote from Winnie the Pooh that I actually used uh, on my wedding website when we were getting married. I had a website because we did a destination wedding and the quote on there says if you live to be a hundred If you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred and one. If you live to be a hundred and one, I hope to live to be a hundred. I don't know, something like that, because I don't want to live a day without you. Um, I can't quote it exactly. My, my brain is not functioning right now. But something to that effect. And um, it's so sweet because it's true. Like, I always, what an awful thing to talk about, but I tell my husband, I always hope that um, I go before him because I don't want to live without him. And, um, and he says the same thing. He wants to go first because he doesn't want to live without me. And, you know, I think when you've been married a long time and spent your whole life with someone, I can't imagine how difficult that can be. So, um, so just sending my love to you and congratulations um, to Ruthie coming into the world. That's all very exciting. So, yay. 
All right, it's a cold, rainy day here. I'm trying to get my tootsies warm in the car, but I'm already at work. So I'm going to go get her done and get out of here. Um, that's it, guys. I'll check in with you again soon. Love you. Bye.